Today, Caltrans announced the completion of extensive repair work on a much-used road in the Kern River Valley. 23 ABC's Corey O'Leary looked over the new section of roadway and brings us an update. On Friday, Caltrans construction crews were finishing up repair work on the 155 after flooding in the spring eroded the roads and caused severe damage. For businesses and residents who live in Alta Sierra, the long awaited reopening of the road comes as a relief. It broke my heart, honestly, because it was, this is a really, really great outlet for this community. That's Jared Donahoe, who is the director of operations at the Alta Sierra Ski Resort, which was heavily impacted by the road closure. He said it was a great year for snowfall, but the ski resort wasn't able to stay open throughout it. When we only had 16 operational days this last year, and it could have been closer to 40 operational days, so financially, we took a massive hit last year. Donahoe lives near the ski resort. With it closing, we weren't able to get things like propane up here. We weren't able to get diesel for our equipment so we could maintain this, this property. I sat inside my house and watched we love this beautiful playground for everybody just kind of dwindle away. Caltrans told me they installed larger culverts and engineered slopes to help prevent future damage. On Friday, the 155 opened completely between Wolford Heights and Alta Sierra. But there is one more planned culvert placement between Alta Sierra and Glenville, which will be constructed with one-way traffic for half a mile, conducted by flaggers. The opening of the roadway will heavily impact Donahoe's commute time. And typically, my trip to work is about 15 minutes um, down to down to Wolford Heights. Uh, it now turned to a about 45, 50 minute drive. He also has to take longer routes to get his kids from school and to sports. It was an endeavor um, financially and on my vehicles. And I'm sure all the other residents up here could say the same. Leslie Walker lives right off the 155 and says the opening of it won't affect her commute, but she isn't looking forward to seeing the increase in traffic. I don't walk anywhere on this 155 anymore. It is scary. They drive too fast coming down and they drive way too fast coming up too. Be For Donalo, he's excited to have the extra time again. It's wonderful. I spent my day all day today getting supplies ready so we can start maintenance on these properties and make sure that it's ready for this season. The installation of the final culvert between Alta Sierra and Glenville will start on Monday, September 18th and will take roughly two months to complete. At Alta Sierra Ski Resort, Coyle Larry, 23 ABC News, connecting you.